Okay, continuing on with risk analysis. And this is not uh, perhaps as much of um, an attack tool or a risk analysis tool as um, thinking of the way that attackers are going to be thinking, are going to be proceeding when they are attacking tool so that you have a, a greater chance in, in understanding the, the process that they go through, the, uh, the way that they are going to think, the way that they are going to proceed um, to take advantage of the uh, attack tree analysis type of tool um, in terms of how to prevent them, how, you know, seeing what it is that they're uh, needing to do, how they're proceeding, the way that they're thinking, and putting impediments in their way uh, in order to prevent them from successfully mounting an attack against you. So, uh, there is the concept of the attack surface. Now, this is a concept. This is not a, a thing. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, reference monitor uh, later on. And uh, it's the same thing. This is, this is an idea. This is a concept. It's an important concept. Uh, but don't think that it's something that you need to specifically identify in a given system. And uh, if you can't find it, you can't uh, deal with it. I mean, you know, the, the more that you do in the way of uh, understanding a, attack surface, the the better you can protect. But um, you know, it's uh, don't think that there is going to be a thing called an attack surface in your system. The attack surface is simply. Um, everything that is exposed to attack. So your, uh, well, your, your entry ports for networking and communications, those are part of the attack surface. The operating system for the uh, machine itself is part of the attack surface. The um, networking and communication software is part of the attack surface. Uh, the yeah, terminals that people sit down in front of, the, uh, the individual, uh, computers that are going to be used. And so, you know, laptops and desktops and even, uh, cell phones these days are going to be part of your attack surface. Uh, and both the hardware and the software involved there is going to be part of the attack surface. And the people are going to be part of the attack surface. So, you know, all of these things, you know, whatever can be attacked in whatever way, that's part of the attack surface. So, you know, what is exposed to an attacker? That's part of the attack surface. The, the physical hardware, the physical facilities, that's part of your attack surface. Um, you know, it's, it's all part of the attack surface. So, it's... You know, that, that is the concept that you have to address. How big is the attack surface? What is the totality of the attack surface? And, you know, like, well, as we will go into when, uh, well, we've already talked a, a bit about security frameworks. Um, uh, part of uh, the security frameworks are, are uh, breakdown frameworks, where you break down the totality of your attack surface into uh, component or constituent pieces so that you can more easily address how to protect the, the parts of your system and therefore hopefully contribute to protecting your system as a whole. Now, turning from that concept of attack surface, there's more specifically the ways that attackers are going to proceed in terms of attacking. They are going to have steps in the process, and the steps are going to be uh, 
by and large, all fairly similar. Um, we have the identification of the system. You know, what is it that you are using? What is the, the operating system? What is the hardware? Is it a network system? Is it network attached? Is it internet attached? Um, you know, what are the uh, components of the system? Uh, if, you know, it's, it's a network of uh, microcomputers, which it is most of the time these days, uh, then what is the primary operating system uh, that is used? And of course, you know, they're going to figure out, you know, there are going to be ways to attack this particular system when it's a, a standard commercial system. Um, so, detail the components and the vulnerabilities. You know, this particular operating system has... Uh, a, a well-known uh, set of vulnerabilities in, in this particular regard. This particular piece of hardware uh, has vulnerabilities in, in certain ways. Um, this uh, particular uh, uh, computer from this particular manufacturer is, is weak when it comes to identifying USB drives and and uh, uh, will accept uh, software more readily from from USB drives you know those types of things what are the the components and the vulnerabilities that uh, are going to be uh, part of the system and uh, more easily attackable um, you know what what are the uh, components that we can attack. Always remembering, of course, there are the people as a part of that uh, attack surface. And so, therefore, you know, how can we attack them? So, um, having identified the system, having detailed the components and looked for the vulnerabilities, then we look at uh, gaining access. Gaining some kind of initial access. Uh, getting a foothold. You know, this is Kind of like mountain climbing, you find a foothold so that you can get onto the rock face. And then you look for the next foothold so that you escalate uh, your privileges, your, your access to the system. And, you know, it, it may be multiple steps as we are escalating our, our access, escalating our privileges um, in order to get as high as we can. Ultimately, of course, they want to get, you know, root access to the system if, if they possibly can. But, you know, whatever, whatever level you can get to, whatever access you can get. And, you know, an awful lot of people are still doing this simply as a challenge. How far can we go? You know, like, like mountain climbing. Uh, you know, how far can you get up? How far can you go uh, before you need help? Um, whatever that may be. Uh, so, all of these things need to, to be addressed. Um, the completion of the attack is, is more in the sense of, um, well, the more, uh, you know, can I say it, commercial intruders, commercial hackers these days, people who are doing this as a business, people who are uh, doing this for the purposes of uh, you know, mounting some kind of breach extortion or, or ransomware or whatever. Um, but uh, at any rate, um, at this point, they're probably going to want to hide how they got in. Uh, they may even correct the uh, initial flaw, having installed something else of their own to ease their own return and, and access. Um, and make sure that they can get, you know, they, they put in a back door, they can put in something, some means of um, in improving and easing their own access, but uh, hiding the access from other people, or even correcting, as I say, the access from other people, so that they are the ones who now control your system. And believe me, at this point, it may be that they, in fact, control your system. You don't anymore.